What's going on everybody? It's the Green Plantain. And we're back to playing Bloodborne. This is episode 6. In the last episode, uh, we unlocked the uh, Odin's Chapel. And this is kind of like a hub area for the beginning of the game. Um, Yeah, in the last episode, we killed Father Gascoin. We talked to this boy right here. He wants us to bring people to the church. Only because he wants to protect them, or so he says. Uh, but before we move any further, because the, the we, we're going to go, um, oh shit, I pressed R2 because I'm used to uh, Hollow Knight at the moment, R2 is the dash button, but uh, this is going to be the way forward, this way, or in and, and some parts of this way over here, but before we do anything, we're going to tell a little girl about her mom. Uh, before we do anything, uh, before we talk to the little girl, let's go ahead and talk to our boy, uh, see what he has to say. Ah, <laughs> oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I... take this... Ooh, the flame sprayer. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. <laughs> Alright, so our boy is uh, succumbing to his disease that he has, but he gave us uh, this weapon here, the flame sprayer. A special weapon used by certain members of the Healing Church spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the Beast of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. And that kind of ties into the uh, description of the uh, of the uh, Molotov cocktails about how uh, some beasts are just. Terribly afraid of uh, the flame, of the fire. So we're gonna keep moving forward. I think I kind of triggered this enemy here. You know what? Let's go ahead and fuck him up. Come here, bitch. Where's he at? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. That's why I should have my torch. This guy, you always gotta kill this guy right here because uh, he gives you bullets. All right, let's go ahead and uh, uh, keep pushing forward. We're, we're looking for the little girl so we can uh, tell her about her mom. All right, and we made it to uh, the little girl. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Did I already talk to her? You know, I reckon I did. Fuck. Alright, so we are back at the Hunter's Dream, and uh, something that I haven't really uh, touched upon. I mean, I guess I have no blood echoes to use, but uh, you can uh, you can shop with these little uh, messenger baths. This one, uh, you use the insight uh, to shop, and uh, we have access to Father Gascoigne's clothing. So his cap says, uh, Gascoigne's cap, hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne, similar to hunter garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a pungent beastly stench that eats away at Gascoigne. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. Everything else says something similar. Uh, the garb says, uh, just has a little uh, different part, it says, the dinghy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. So uh, Gascoigne is no longer part of the healing church and he's a foreigner. That's what I was talking about when I was fighting him. I called him a foreigner. I wasn't being racist. He's he's, he's, a, he's from a foreign land. And and I don't know if the, if the father part uh, talks about... Um, it, it, I don't know if it's about him having that title in some kind of religious sect or 
him being a father, like the father of the little girl. We don't know. Uh, but now that we talked to the girl and we talked to uh, old boy by the window, we can move to Odin's chapel and that's where we're gonna go. All right, and we're back to uh, Odin's chapel. Uh, so we can move forward. And we lost a bunch of blood echoes, but who gives a fuck? Uh, we're gonna explore this area over here. Here you can kind of see um, the area. We got some enemies patrolling. I forgot the name of those cats over there. Uh, they're not that bad, honestly. Um, and I think there's some items around here if we patrol just right. Ah, some crows. Oh, no, that means. Oh, shit! Where the fuck did he come from? I think he was behind that wagon. You think you slick, motherfucker? Yeah, he's dead as fuck now. Um, <laughs> there, there's a, a, a gang of crows over here, and they're gonna fucking die too. Cause you won't play that shit. All right, uh, okay, here's the item I was talking about. It's a madman's knowledge. That's always a, a, a welcome. And we can go up here, uh, and these assholes come out. Oh wait, it's just one. Oh, wait, it is two, I, I thought so. These guys hit hard, uh, so you can't let them, you can't let them land the hit on you, cause it hurts. I'm not even sure what they are. They're like mines or something? Cause they're like they're human, but they don't look human. There's there there's something unhuman about them. Got him. Let's go ahead and heal up. We got some blood vials out of that. Nice. So we can't move. Pa uh, we can't go past this area right here because the fucking gate is closed. But we got a wooden shield out of it. So let's read the wooden shield description. Wooden shield. A crude wooden shield used by the masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields. Ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they en engender passivity. So uh, that's kind of a... Uh, a slap in the face to so the people that play Dark Souls before playing this game, kind of telling them like, yeah, you can't use a shield, but it's gonna, it, it's not gonna be as effective. You have to be aggressive in this game, as uh, the game has made uh, blatantly clear. Let's go ahead and kill this guy over here. Fuck that, bitch. Want some, motherfucker? Yeah, he's dead. Got some more blood vials. Another one of these guys. You want some too, bitch? Ain't got no poise. Get the fuck out of here. We definitely, uh, we need some uh, bullets, man, because times are hard. We got a hunter garb. Let's get back. You might be wondering what that is, uh, but we'll find out later in the game. Uh, that, that is the hunter garb. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hunter garb. One of the standard articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop. This one without the cape that wipes away blood. A fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beastly threat. Allows one to stalk beasts unannounced by cover of night. They also have a top hat. Where is it at? Oh, right here. Top hat. Hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form, as seen by the use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of our humanity, and precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. But we don't fuck with top hats in this channel. So let's go ahead and move forward. It's gonna be this way over here. Here we can kind of take a look at uh, uh, the city. Looks beautiful. I wish there was a map of this uh, of this place we could take a look at, but uh, you know it's fine. Whatever. 
Alright, we're gonna move forward down this way over here. Here we got a gang of dogs. Some more villagers. Let's go ahead and fuck them up. You want some, bitch? That dog is uh, the, the biggest threat right now, but let's go ahead and hit that motherfucker. Get back. Get back, bitch. I kill all your motherfuckers. Oh, shit. I missed that one. You ain't shit. What's it, too, bitch? All right, good. We got him. Uh, I think there's another guy over here in this area. There's a few of them. We just got to be careful. Oh, we got some cold blood. Nice. Some cocktails. Um, maybe. Okay, so we could definitely go in here, but uh, I know there's somebody. There's, there's, there's. Oh, there he is. Get back. Alright, I think we got everything there. Um Alright, this is the part that's got me a little a little worried. I've died so many times here for some reason, especially in the beginning when I first started playing this game. It's just a nasty little trap. You don't expect the, those dogs to come out, but they fucking do. They're so aggressive, man. They're they're so damn quick and they got the mange, like it's just it's not pretty. Get back. Get the fuck back. Alright, they're dead. Is there anything in here? Nope. Alright, we can go ahead and kill that dude. Let's go ahead and do a, a, a sweeping maneuvers. Ha! It's like Persona 5. Alright, we got some bullets. Alright, and here we access uh, this little chapel here, and, and this chapel actually unlocks, um, well, we'll see. I'm gonna lock this right here. Alright, so it unlocks that, uh, 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 that tomb. It opens up uh, that, that area, but we'll, we'll go there in a little bit. And they make it so that you quickly want to jump off, but before you do, you have to come over here and we have to talk to a chap. Where's he at? Ah. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me... Alfred, protege of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Should we cooperate with Alfred? I'm gonna say yes. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this. To celebrate our acquaintance. Some fire paper, that's nice. And we get the prey Beast emote. hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. I just want to let this be known. Uh, because of Alfred, I say let the may the may the good blood guide your way. Uh, and and not a lot of people understand that reference, but it's fine. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Alright, so he can tell us some things about the Healing Church and Bergenworth. Let's go ahead and uh, ask him about the Healing Church. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Let's talk about Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods 
carved out below Yarnum should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. All right. You farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. May the good blood guide your way as well, man. Uh, so that's Alfred. And uh, Alfred is somewhat of a friend character. And uh, uh, he's going to help us out in the journey, more or less. Um, let's go ahead and access that tomb that we opened earlier. You know, I realized I'm taking the long way. I probably could have just gone around, but it's fine. Gives me a chance to uh, admire the beautiful atmosphere made by FromSoft. These guys know how to make a name, uh, make, make a game. And, uh, uh, damn, I'm really excited for uh, Elden Ring, which uh, they haven't released uh, much news as of today. They haven't released a lot of news. That's what I meant to say. Damn, sometimes I can't talk. Mostly because I'm uh, three beers deep, I'm going to say. Hey, what's up, man? You want some of this? What's good? What's up, man? These enemies still terrify me. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. They can kill you if you miss up. And there it is. Alright. Let's kill this motherfucker, man. All right, and, and that's why uh, you don't underestimate any enemy because uh, they can kill you uh, at any moment. So uh, let's go ahead and push forward. I like this little area here. Um, there's some unlockables, if I remember, or not unlockables, but some hidden items. Um, okay, wait, I know there's a way. Okay, uh, is it done here? There's a way to get to that back area. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait. Okay, yeah, we gotta go through here. We got some antidote. Uh, let's go ahead and read the fire paper in antidote. Antidote. Small medicinal tablets that counteract poison. Used to treat ash and blood. The baffling sickness that ravaged old Yarnum long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The ash and blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. The blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the scourge. So that's where the disease came from. Uh, from the blood that the blood uh, that the blood church the blood the that the healing church was using. And made Yarnum so important. Let's go ahead and uh, activate this t lantern here. And we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, before I do though, let me see if there's any items uh, that I'm missing. Nah, you know, and I actually forgot to read the fire paper. Let's go ahead and read the fire paper and then we can go ahead and end the episode. Um, fire paper, coarse paper that applies fire to weapons when rubbed. A hunter tool found in the healing church workshop. Since the tragedy that struck old Yarnum, Fire has become a staple in beast hunts, and it's thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. So that kind of ties into what I was talking about earlier. Uh, the, some beasts are afraid of the fire, and if I bust out with the flame, they're fucking scared. Um, let's go ahead and end the episode right there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.